So I think you know, the most important uh, part, what we talked at our recent American Society of Hematology conference was outcomes for this rare disease, POMS or um, syndrome, which is a combination of features included in this um, syndrome, which predominantly is a plasma cell disorder, like multiple, treated like multiple myeloma. And what we were looking for is the outcomes of individuals who got stem cell transplant. Now, the reason this was an important study was for four different things. The first of all, we wanted to see in a large data set that how do these individual patients do in regards to not only safety, but the risk of secondary issues like secondary malignancies. So they get blood cancers, they are getting other forms of cancers because of transplant itself. And what we found is less than, you know, 5% of the individuals got secondary malignancy and only 1.2% of them got blood cancers. We know that side effect of transplant is getting secondary hematological malignancies, which we found to be very, um, uh, an, uh, it's never low when it's 1%, but it was still um, in a range which is acceptable in the, or seen in the past um, data. So I think that was the first important part. The second important piece we also learned is um, that we, uh, what is gonna be the ideal regimen to do before you do the transplant means that can you identify, how can you reduce the, uh, the plasma cells and the bone marrow of these patients? And we identified that it is not always needed. There were patients who are also even progressing or had a poor response to their treatment and they still derive benefit from stem cell transplant. So that was point number two. And, and um, the third important part was we are trying to understand that how can you safely collect the stem cell transplant for these patients? And what we learned is um, there are various strategies which are used in real life um, and, and all of them seem to be quite safe. The most common strategy being use of GCSF and Mozabil or Plurix so four and combination of both of them. So I think these were three important lessons we learned. And obviously the last but not the least, we understood that what is the long-term survival of these individuals or these patients who received stem cell transplant. And we noticed that at the end of four to five years of the follow-up, um, you know, the survival outcomes were excellent. And so this really helps for a rare disease like Holmes syndrome to understand that this therapy is going to be an important part in the armamentum of their treatment.